Kentucky Derby 133 in 2007, about as good a group as the top three finishers uh, as you'll ever see. Street Sense, Hard Spun, and Curlin. Street Sense had to overcome uh, a jinx. It was the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Jinx. And it's going to be Street Sense to win this one in distant. Street Sense could not have been more impressive. He runs. I've always said it's a mathematical reason is why you don't have a juvenile champion win the Derby. He still got to go against 18,000 horses. No horse had ever won the Breeders' Cup Juvenile and successfully won the Kentucky Derby the following May until street sets. What I remember leading up to the race was the Queen of England. It was a big deal that she was going to be here for her first Kentucky Derby. So pre-race, the Queen certainly got a lot of buzz that day. Of course, another story for me, first win for a jockey named Calvin Burrell. It'd be the first of three that he would have in four years. And Calvin is another jockey that's very loved in Kentucky and here at Churchill Downs in Louisville and is very identifiable with Churchill Downs in Louisville. Calvin Burrell has won over 4,000 races, but 0 for 4 at the Kentucky Derby. Carl Nasker trained the two-year-old champion. He won the Derby 1990 unbridled. Will this be the time he repeats? The only concern I had going in was will we get through the crowd? And they're off in the Kentucky Derby! And it's hard spun to be the early leader. Hard spun, a real fast horse. He went to the front and set quick fractions. Street Sense lingered in the back. If you listen to the call of the race, uh, you'll hear the announcer, you know, kind of show surprise when he talks about how far back Street Sense was. Street Sense is second to last. Street Sense is the 19th of 20 as they continued on the backstretch run. I truthfully can say this. I got to think it maybe Calvin's dropping way too far back. Leaving the far turn, you could see Calvin Burrell making that patented move that we've seen so many times. They have a great overhead shot. Where you kind of see Calvin navigating from the back of that pack, skimming across that rail, as he was often known as Calvin Bow Rail. He had the racing luck. Everything parted for him. He had clear sailing. There's a big blind spot right there that you're waiting. And all at once, I seen them yellow gold silks pop out. And there's Street Sense with a huge move on the far turn, and Calvin Morrell saving ground every step of the way. And I said, Taffold, he's out. It's up to him now. And Street Sense has roared from 19th position to first in the Derby. Put his head down, leveled out, uh, knew his task at hand, and uh, he was a Derby winner. Street Sense, a stretch running sensation to win the Derby by two. One of the greatest feelings I think I ever had in my life. This brought it all together. This is the moment you wait for in life. Calvin, you've won over 4,000 races, but this is your first Kentucky Derby. What are your feelings? Calvin, was, was uh, he's moved to tears. He was very emotional. I just want to take my brother to get me here. I wish my mama and daddy was here. This is the most greatest moment of my life. The queen, just like a lot of other people, kind of became enamored with Calvin a little bit. She was going to the White House for a dinner in her honor, and she invited Calvin to go along. A race tracker for life from the bushes of Louisiana, sitting next to the Queen of England. Horse racing, the Kentucky Derby, uh, brought those two together. It was great. <laughs>